and things like that and what they can be used for. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty informative, too. That's yeah. so interesting. Um, so, let's see, Caitlin, what do you do with other groups? Um, we do, like, volunteer activities where we'll, uh, like, volunteer at soup kitchens or um, there are some, like, musical groups that will play at uh, mass and stuff. And we just try to get involved in the community and help it out as much as we can. Oh, well, so. that's really nice to you know, yeah. get back to the community. Yeah. How about you, Alex? What um, um, do you do with other groups? Um, we actually, every year, we have a uh, interfaith panel with one of the local churches. Um, I believe last year we actually did uh, St. John's Parish. Oh, really? Um, yeah, and it's, uh, we have, uh, we had a priest from St. John's and one of the students from St. John's, and then our president and one of our advisors. Um, and we just had people submit questions to them and they would answer them as best we can and try to see where the common ground is between Catholicism and paganism. So how did that all work out? Like, what do you remember from that experience? It was really good. Uh, it was very informative. Um, I had a lot of misconceptions, I think, about Catholicism that got cleared up and I think there were some Catholics there who learned something too. Oh. It was very interesting. Can you explain one of those misconceptions for us? Uh, well, I mean, one of the things within, a, it's kind of a stereotype that Catholics can be somewhat intolerant or something like that, and it kind of showed us that they were wrong. I mean, they are more tolerant than they seem on the surface to us. That was one of the big things that came up. So, Caitlin, do you agree with that? Oh, yeah. I know that a lot of people, the misconception is just completely obsolete because there are so many people that are just they're open to diversity and open to other people's thoughts and ideas. They don't completely shut out like, oh, that's not what I believe, so you're wrong. There, there's barely anybody like that anymore. Oh, so, so, so have you had any like um, problems with other groups at all? Like I know you said they were really tolerant and everything. Um, I haven't personally had any problems with other groups, but there's like stuff in the media where people call out Catholics and say, oh, you know, you're uh, worshiping false idols and stuff because we have the saints and mm -hmm. um, we pray to them for to intercede for us to God and we ask for their help and um, people like to skew things and say that we're completely just off course from that our religion is wrong and they're all right kind of thing. And they're all right. Well, yeah. No worries. <laughs> Gotta take that with a grain of salt too. Well, we're going to take another short break uh, for a message, and we'll be right back. Morning. So, what do you think then? Get an early start in that alfalfa on the back 40? What's the hurry? Hit the snooze. Great cheese comes from happy cows. Happy cows come from California. Real California cheese. We're back again with our guest, Caitlin Belcher from St. John's Student Parish and Alex Meyer from Green Spiral. So, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Alex, are there any activities that you would say particularly help bond members, like maybe new members or something to your group? Uh, well, every year we go to Troy to uh, go to the convocation, which is a big kind of pagan convention thing. Okay. There are a lot of workshops there. There's a lot of speakers and authors who go to that. And um, I don't believe we're going officially this year, but we're kind of going unofficially. Unofficially? Unofficially. And um, <laughs> we all kind of stay together in a couple of hotel rooms, and that's how I really got to know people within the group. So I think that that's a big bonding experience. And it's also really informative for people who are kind of new to paganism or younger or didn't grow up in it. And uh, it gives them a chance to learn a lot about other pagans and maybe traditions that they're not really familiar with. Oh, OK. So, Caitlin, do you feel that your group helps you personally? Um, yeah, St. John's has been a really uh, big influence. Like, I have met a lot of people through it, um, and people are really welcoming, and I love it there. I, 
it's it's really I love it. It's so nice. Um, I I don't really know what else to say. It's just. <laughs> I, nice I feel I feel so welcome there. And it's That's a nice. good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so how do other students react to your group, Caitlin? I actually, uh, I think a lot of people um, find it not, you know, not as threatening as like some people think the church seems to be. But yeah. and it's like I said, it's a really welcoming place, and anybody can come and stop in for a mass just to see what it's like. Just to see what everything yeah. is and what yeah. it entails. Yeah. How about you, Alex? How do you feel other students react to your group? Um, I think a lot of people don't really understand paganism or they don't really know what it is. So, like, they see it and they immediately think, oh, witchcraft and, you know, devil worship, things like that. It's th There's no devil worship, nothing like that. I don't think a lot of people have a very strong understanding of paganism. And um, so, I mean, their first reaction is, if they don't really understand it, they're kind of weirded out by it a little bit. But I think like, if they take the time to learn about what it is, then even if they're not interested in it, they still kind of understand it. Yeah. And they understand that, I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of misconceptions and there's a lot of problems with uh, people who aren't educated. But, so I think if they come to have an understanding of it, then they just kind of, you know, it's cool. make more sense, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you get your name out there? Like, how do others know about you? You said there wasn't, like, too many people that know about paganism. Right. Um, a lot of what we started doing this year, we chalked a lot at the beginning of the year, and that's what I think got a lot of our membership together. Uh, we're also at Sparticipation. We had a table there, and we got a lot of people coming by for that. Um, that's, and that's a lot of what we do to get our name out there. What does chalked mean? Chalking. Oh. We uh, go around at the beginning of the, of the semester with uh, pieces of sidewalk chalk and just write on corners around campus. Little bits of information. Little bits of information in our website. Oh, okay. So, Keelan, uh, how do you, you get your name out there? Like, how do people know to come to you um, your group? I think a lot of it is by, like, word of mouth mm -hmm. and a lot of people recommending it. We have a website, and um, there, I think we're at Sparticipation, too. But um, we just like to, and we have like events and stuff, and we just try to keep it open for everyone. And there's convenient times and for like masses and stuff, so right. students can make it. Most people yeah. can come then. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Alex, how like are there uh, people other than students in your group, like professors or staff? Um, yeah, a lot of people in Greensboro are actually community members and uh, oh, okay. like just different people from around Lansing. Um, we do have two staff members, I believe. Two staff members that uh, are part in of the group. group. Uh, it is a lot. Of, it's very driven by students, I think. But the community members do play a big role within the group. Wow, that's pretty interesting. So it's not just students. Then. No, it's not just students. How about you, Caitlin? Is like, uh, are there other people other than students in your group or professors or staff members? Yeah, or? it's mostly students, but um, a lot of other people like to go too because it's you know a younger crowd, more hip, obviously, <laughs> and there's a lot more energy with uh, younger people too. So. So how many new people do you get? I'm not exactly sure because I'm yeah. a freshman and I just oh, okay. I just uh, went, uh, joined, but um, I'm. We probably get a lot of people like every year. Uh, well, and a lot of people like to come at least once and you know see what and they see think. see what it is all yeah. about and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this has been very interesting, but unfortunately our time is up. I'd like to thank our guest, Caitlin Belcher <laughs> and Alex Meyer. My pleasure. Thanks for being with us here today, and thank you to everyone out there watching. I'm Jamie Atkinson, and have a great week. This has been MSU Live, an exciting look at student groups, events, and more at Michigan State University. This is your announcer, Drew Lockwood, speaking.